How you doing? Another cold day today. Um, probably not going to be able to. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be able to do any fiberglassing. Um, not not outside anyway. But um, uh, I had a, a really good idea from um, one of the guys that watches the the channel. Um, bushcraft fishing with a pikey. So pikey, well, sort of brilliant idea. Great. Thanks. Never thought of it. But anyway, it's um, yeah. Um, I was going to make this out of nidoplast. Um, but I needed structure and the only thing with nidoplast is it's got a, a hollow core so it's like one one layer on top of another layer and it's got like a, a staggered core so whenever you cut it you've actually got to fill in the fill in the core bit all the way around and then you've got to glass it and it's I just find it hard to work with really or um, unnecessary time consuming because there's too much to do once you've once you've got it all cut out but it is actually good for the likes of decks when you're only going to use like a, um, a flat area you can glass on both sides um, ideally I don't want to use too much glass fiber glass um, I've gone through liters a kilogram and kilograms of uh, resin maybe even 200 I don't know but anyway um, so yeah so when I when I looked at this I thought when I made this um, this um, hard top the idea was that I didn't need rigidity uh, I needed um, something pretty solid but something very light. Um, so it's obviously it's going to be like a, um, a canopy above my head as we're going and you've got the wind, you've got the direction, it acts like a sail on the boat as well. Um, so it's got to be strong. You've also got to grab hold of it and be able to, to hang on, so to speak, uh, should you need to. Um, so the idea was using a marine ply. So the, the, the front and the sides are, are okay because I'm not going to drill and stuff into them. Um, but I am going to be drilling through the hard top or drilling into. Um, and what I would normally do is put um, little bits of chopping board, plastic chopping board, um, underneath the um, uh, the fiberglass, so you can basically screw into it. As in, layer the fiberglass, final couple of layers, put a bit of chopping board underneath, and then you've got a nice little ridge to, to screw into. Um, so I couldn't use the um, the Wix's floor protector, um, simply because it's just too thin and flimsy. And again, I would need maybe four or five layers of glass to make it as solid as I want it to be. Um, but, so what I can use is this. So, probably a version of uh, Nidoplast if you like, but um, it's used for towel backing. And if you looked at some of my other videos, um, I, I've put a video on a, a bathroom um, fit that I did. And I always put um, cement board behind the walls, behind the backing of the tile. So I take the initial layers off, put cement board on and then that gives you a, a proper base to towel from as opposed to just tiling on straight up to the wall. Um, so what I use is this. This uh, STS Professional Tile Backing Board, 10mm uh, um, and that's what I was using. So, lo and behold, nobody had any of that. Um, so I looked everywhere and I went to home base and they've got their not home base B and Q I'm talking about. Uh, they've got this version, Home Lux Under Tile Heating Installation Board. Which basically is exactly the same thing as that. And it's light. So question is Do I get rid of all this hard work? And start again. Or um, do I use this? And the fact that I bought that probably probably tells you I'm going to use that.
Right, so what I've done, I put a little bit of um, support there because I needed to pull that bit down just in, just in case. It was actually, it was alright actually, but uh, this side wasn't, it was a bit, a bit proud, so uh, put a little nail in there just to keep that there until such time as the fire blast goes over and that will be good to go. What I'm doing here is um, measuring out two lots of, of glass. I've cut it. This bit is the actual um, outside edge of the hard top. So I can line these up and then fold it over and hopefully I'll have a straight edge as I can without too much trimming.
one cut of fiberglass on the inside, there'll be two. Looks like it's come up there, but it hasn't. No, nice and thick. I wanted this to overlap. And then I thought it's not going to overlap straight um, unless I put let's put some sort of backing on. So I put a temporary backing all the way around, and then five brass up to it. Um, that will allow me to, to have this overlap. Now, actually, again, on. Uh, Another thought, I could have actually used a, a roofing profile. So when I do, or when I've done fiberglass roofs, uh, there's a fiberglass profile. And it's not an edging profile. It's actually got either a raised or a, or a lower, just basically a 90 degree angle. So um, I could have used that, which is actually what I used for the side of the boat. Uh, but I didn't have any, and uh, I may do with this. So uh, let's take this off and see what it looks like. So what I can do now, when I five glass this, I can five glass up to this. Make that obviously a bit stronger. But you can see actually how many layers I would need uh, of this to make it to make it strong, to make it stiff. Good, pleased with that. Um, I've got to work out how to attach it to the boat. got these in a clearance at uh, B&Q, they don't fit any of my sanders but I thought they might fit my belt sander, so I got one of the belt sanders, did a measure up, oh look at that, perfect, freaking lifetime supply of um, miniature belt sanders for a quid.
the little things. I've made two templates for windows and I've put two back in boards, uh, back in stops. The reason why I've done that is when you look at it this way, I'll be able to fiberglass overlap the edge. So overlap this edge to about here, all the way around, um, and also the other side of this. Once it's overlapped, take the this off, this off, and the and the, uh, the window template out, and I'll be able to fire blast straight up to it. This is, a, this is a part of a chopping board. One of the old cheap plastic ones, really hard plastic ones though. There you go. So, um, it takes a while. You've got to get it straight. But.
that's the hard top finished I put a, a couple of other layers of fiberglass so just to show you how thick that um, that edge is which is just as I wanted it I need it that thick and I'll put a um, I'll put a beading on it but uh, that's the hard top done now all I need to do is um, give it a sand off and uh, gel coat it if I use gel coat I might use uh, I might paint it but uh, with an epoxy paint because at the moment um, polyester needs a gel coat to make it waterproof so it's either going to have epoxy paint over the top or it's going to have a gel coat one of the two um, but uh, really pleased with it so I'm, I'm going to have to finish up there uh, because I've included fiberglass in the the front screens um, and remaking the hard top um, I've got loads and loads of um, video time <laughs> and uh, my hard drive won't take it so yeah Look at this and see you next one.